we have already learned how to factorize expressions of this type we consider the different terms of this expression and see what is the common factor we have a p minus 1 as a common factor between the two terms of the expression so we take p minus 1 as common and write down the remaining parts within the brackets so here the remaining part is 2q and here the remaining part is 5 so this expression can be factorized as p minus 1 into 2q plus 5 so these are the two factors of this expression now how will you factorize an expression like this again we try to find out what is the common factor between the different terms of the expression well this is 2 into p into q this is 2 into q this is 5 into p and this is 5 so we cannot find any single common factor between the different terms of this expression the first two terms have 2q as common the last two terms have 5 as common these two terms have p as common but all four terms do not have a single factor as common among them so what do we do now have a look at this expression again we expand it and we get 2pq minus 2q plus 5p minus 5 so we see that this and this are the same and this is simply an expanded form of this so in effect this is the same expression as this so what is so special about this expression that we could factorize it but we could not factorize it what is so special about it well the special thing about this expression is the way in which it is written so here it is written into groups of two and each group has a common factor whereas this expression is the expanded form of this so whenever we have an expression like this where we cannot find a single common factor among all the terms of the expression we try and divide the expression into groups such that each group has a common factor there is no specific method of doing it we have to try it and see whether we can how do we divide it into different groups and whether we can find a common factor among the different groups so for this expression we take these two terms and these two terms and let us try and see what we get so taking these two terms as a group what is the common factor between these two terms 2q 2q is the common factor and what is left p minus 1 if we consider this group what is the common factor between these two terms 5 and what is left p minus 1 so now we consider this and this this is now similar to our earlier expression this becomes one term of the expression this group becomes the other term of the expression and we have p minus 1 common so it can be factorized as p minus 1 into 2q plus 5 so this is the factorized form of the expression so we divide the expression into groups such that each group has a common factor and we have to do it by trial and error now factorize this expression so first we need to check whether there is a common factor among all the four terms of the expression so this is a square this is ab this is ac these three terms have a common but then this doesn't have an a these two have b common but these two don't these two have a c common but these two don't have any c so there is no common factor among all the four terms 
So the next step is to consider groups of two and then see if there is a common factor among the groups. So we take the first two terms and the next two terms. So we take the first two terms and the next two terms. What is the common factor between the first two terms? A is a common factor. So we can write it as A into A plus B. This is A square plus AB. What is the common factor in these two terms? Negative C is a common factor in these two terms. Now if we take negative C common, we can write it as A plus B because this is negative AC, negative BC. So we have an A plus B here and an A plus B here. So we have been successful in dividing this expression into groups such that each group has a common factor. And now using the knowledge of what we had learned, we can factor out A plus B and we take A from here, negative C from here. So this is the factorized form of this expression. Now factorize 6AB minus 4B plus 9A minus 6. So you need to factorize this expression. First, we need to check whether there is a common factor among all the four terms of this expression. So we have a 6 here and a 6 here, but then we don't have any, six, any uh, term which has 6 as a factor. These three terms have 2 as a factor, but this doesn't. This, this and this have 3 as a factor, but then this does not have. We have B here, B here, but then these two, two terms don't have a B. We have an A here, an A here, but there is no A here. So we can't find a factor which is common to all four terms. So the next step is to divide it into groups of two. So we take the first two and the last two and see whether we can find a common factor among the two groups. So in the first two terms, we have 6AB minus 4B. So 2B is common. We take 2B as common. What is left from 6AB? We have already taken 2B. So we are left with 3A. We have a negative 4B here. We have taken 2B. So we have a negative 2 here. Consider the second group. We have 9A minus 6. So 3 is a common factor. And we are left with 3A minus 2. So now we have this and this as a common factor among the two groups. So we can write it as 3A minus 2 into 2B plus 3. 2B plus 3. So this is the factorized form of this expression. Now factorize this expression. So first we check whether there is a common factor among all the four terms of the expression. So we have an x square term here, but we don't have any x here. We have y here, but there is no y here. So all the four terms do not have a common factor. Now we consider groups of two. So again we see that this x square and y have nothing in common. They do not have a common factor. So what do we do now? Well, we can try and rearrange it. So let's place this y at the end. And we can write it as x square minus xy minus x plus y. This is the same as this. We have only rearranged the terms. So we get this. Now we consider the first two and the last two terms. So we consider the first two and the last two terms. The first two terms have an x common. So we take x common. This becomes x minus y. These two terms don't have anything in common. 
So we can write it as plus 1 into negative x plus y. This is yet another group. Now observe that the terms here are the same as the terms here. The difference is with respect to the signs. And the signs are exactly opposite in both the cases. So plus x becomes negative x here. Negative y becomes positive y here. So we can take a negative 1 common from here and make it x minus y because negative 1 into x gives negative x. Negative 1 into negative y gives plus y and this remains the same x into x minus y. So x into x minus y minus 1 into x minus y. Now this is the same as this. So these two groups have a common factor. So we get x minus y into x minus 1. So this is the factorized form of this expression. So this is what we have. Now we could have rearranged it in other way also. Instead of taking y to the end, we could have taken y here, we could have brought a negative x here. We can rearrange it in any manner as we want. In this way also, we consider the first two terms and the last two terms. Check whether the first two terms have a common factor. Yes, they have x as a common factor. Now, we factor out x and get x minus 1. From the next two terms, we have y as a common factor. And then we get 1 minus x. But we have different factors here. But observe that this and this have the same terms, x and 1. The difference is again with respect to the signs. So if we reverse the signs, we get x minus 1. That is, if we take a negative 1 common, we'll get the same factor. So we take a negative 1 common. So this becomes negative y into x minus 1. And now this is the same as this. And we can write it as x minus 1 into x minus y. This is the same as this. x minus y into x minus 1 is the same as x minus 1 into x minus y. So no matter how you rearrange the terms, if you are able to factorize the expression, you'll always get the same factors. So you can rearrange it in any manner as you want till the time you are able to factorize it. Now we need to factorize this expression. So first we try to see if there is anything common among all the terms of this expression. This expression has six terms. So we need to check whether there is anything common among all the six terms of the expression. Well, we can just check for two terms of the expression and see if there is nothing common between the two terms, we can conclude that there is nothing common between all the six terms. So let us consider these two terms. We have an A here, but there is no A here. We have a Y here. But there is no y here. So there is nothing common between these two terms. Hence, there is nothing common between all the six terms of this expression. So now we need to divide this expression into groups and find out if there is a common factor among the groups. Till now, we had grouped expressions containing four terms. So we formed two groups with two terms. Here, we have six terms. So we can either form two groups with three terms each or we can form three groups with two terms each. We can do it in any manner. First, let us consider three groups of two terms. So we consider this, this 
and this why because this has a common these two have b common and these two have c common so from these two we take a common we are left with 2x plus y from these two we take b common so we are left with 2x plus y from these two we take c common and we are left with 2x plus y so this is what we have now in the in these three groups we have 2x plus y 2x plus y 2x plus y which is a common factor so we can write it as 2x plus y into we take a from here a plus b from here plus b and plus c from here so this is the factorized form of this expression 2x plus y into a plus b plus c is the factorized form of this expression this is a factor and this is a factor now let us try and form groups of three terms so we can form two groups of three terms so if we consider the first three terms these three terms we see that there is no common factor among these three terms there is no common factor among these three terms so we cannot group these three terms together so we try to bring the three terms together such that those three terms have something in common so we look for three terms which have something in common so if we take this this has 2x next this has 2x and this has 2x so let us try and club these three terms together and the remaining three terms together so we have this we group this and this together so from the first three terms we have 2x as common we write it as 2x into a plus b plus c from the next three terms is there anything common yes y is common in the next three terms so we can write it as y into a plus b plus c now in these two groups we have a plus b plus c a plus b plus c so we have a common factor in these two groups so we have successfully formed the required groups now we take a plus b plus c common and then we are left with 2x plus y so we get the same factors as we had got in the earlier case so no matter how we form the groups whether we form three groups of two each or we form two groups of three terms each will come to the same factors so in this manner we can factorize expressions by dividing them into groups such that each group has a common factor